Psalms chapter 96, verse 1, and it reads, I will sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. <clears throat> sing unto the Lord. Bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen. His wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindness of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory <clears throat> to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit, pretty much the Lord got us introducing them to the whole world again. That's all. That that's that's exactly what's happening now. Like just like it happened thousand years ago. The, the Lord, no saying his name will be glorified and honored. Just like in um Romans the ninth chapter, when he raised Pharaoh up, he raised Pharaoh up to show his power and his might, man. The heathens knew the heavenly father's name, the most high Yahweh. They call him El Shajah, demon like power, when he destroyed Pharaoh, man. The name of the Lord will be declared among the heathens, man. Once again, pretty much we're, we're reintroducing Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai to the whole earth. We're declaring the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, before he comes, man. You see? Let's get this again. A little glory and majesty. Greatly to be feared, greatly to be praised. The whole earth would tremble at the proper names in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. You see it on the screen. You see it on the screen. Look, look, the real name, the proper name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who they ignorantly call Jesus, all right? <clears throat> The real name of the Heavenly Father, the Most High Yahweh. He is, He exists, right? His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. He saves, He delivers. Many titles, they got many titles. One proper name in the Hebrew tongue of peace. Once again, the Heavenly Father has only one proper name in the Hebrew tongue. His only begotten son has only one proper name in the Hebrew tongue. Many titles, one name. You see it up there on the screen. At the top, I'm saying you, you see Yahweh. He is, he exists. Right up, right up under that, his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly call Jesus. He saves, he delivers, Psalm chapter 9. And, and those names, the whole earth is going to fear those names. The whole earth is going to bow down to those proper names in the Hebrew tongue. Everybody, man. Psalm chapter 96. And then going right back to Acts chapter 4, verse 12, it, it, it tells us that there is no other name under heaven whereby we can call on to be saved. That's what the scriptures say. And these names are strong towers. This is the strong tower right here. Remember Proverbs 18, 18 and 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. Jesus Christ is not a strong tower. Allah, Buddha, Santa Maria, the Hindu god of Shiva, um, the Kemet gods, Amin Ra, Seth, Geb, Neb. And then no, those are not strong towers. All right. Psalms 96 and 1. Oh, sing unto the Lord Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, a new song. That's what we're doing now. 
when we bring out this word, sing unto the Lord Yahweh, <clears throat> all the earth, sing unto the Lord Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, because we can't um, honor the father without honoring the son. You see, you, you can get that. Matter of fact, let's, let's just get that right, just to prove that. We're just going to prove that. St. John. The name of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahushai will be magnified upon the face of the earth. It, it's, it's happening now. It's happening now. But when the Lord when the Lord destroys Babylon and Great America, his name really gonna be, you know what I'm saying, magnified throughout the four corners of the earth. Everybody's gonna know the God of the Hebrews, man. The God of the Hebrew Israelites destroyed Babylon the Great, man. Everybody's going to know once again, just like they knew, you know what I'm saying, thousands of years ago when the Lord took down Pharaoh and his army. They said, they, they said the God of the Hebrews did that. Elishadjah, the Messiah, Yahweh, he did that, man. And, and fear, and fear, she, um, the harlot Rahab, you know what I'm saying, they mentioned that. We have heard what your God, what your God did to the Egyptians, man. She said that, man. The harlot Rahab said that, look, we have heard what, what your God did, you know what I'm saying, to the, to the, um, to the Egyptians. Look, look, and we're afraid. Now, and I'm going to get that, I'm going to get that, um, that Jeremiah, the 10th chapter 2, um, John, St. John chapter 5. I just want to hit a point right quick. St. John chapter 5, verse, um, let's see. I'm just, just for process of time, I'm going to start at 22. St. John chapter 5, verse 22. <clears throat> Red letter, Lord Yahweh Shai speaking. Yahweh Shai, who he, look, look, he saves, he delivers, who you ignorantly call Jesus. This is him right here in the red letter, right? Verse 22. For the Father judges no man. The Heavenly Father judges no man, but have committed all judgment unto his Son. So, so who's controlling the judgment seat? Through the power of the Heavenly Father, the Most High, Yahweh, His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who you eagerly call Jesus, that all men should honor the Son. Because I, I made a point, right? Even as they honor the Father. So, so, the, so the only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, is not just a, a spirit, just another spirit. No, no. He's second in command of everything. And, and, and listen now, that all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, Lord Yahweh Shai, honoreth not the Father which have sent him. So how do we honor the Father? Through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. That's why we say Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. We honor the Heavenly Father through the name of his only begotten Son. And if you can't get that, I don't know what to tell you. So let's go back. Let's go right on back. Psalm chapter 96, verse um, <clears throat> um, 2. Sing unto the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Bless his name. Bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen. That, that's exactly what we do. His wonders among all people. For the Lord Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the but the Elohim made the heavens, right? Look, all the gods of the nations are idols, Buddha, Allah, Santa Maria, Jesus Christ, are all that. And the letter J just came into play, you know what I'm saying, in the in um the, the mid 1500s You see? And, and my watch chimed in. It says, um, honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. O you kings of the people, give unto the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due. Give unto the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. The name's right there on the screen. The names right there on the screen, all right? And we have the names, all right? We have the proper names in the we have the proper name of the heavenly Father and his only begotten son in the Hebrew tongue. We have it through faith, right? We we believe it. We, you ain't got to believe it. Give unto the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. 
O oh, worship the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. And look, look, I, 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 I said something, so I, I just want to prove it. Let's go to St. John. 17, you got Israelite groups talking about we ain't got the names, we ain't got the right Hebrew and all that. Okay, you you don't, you don't, we do. And it's all through faith. It's all through faith. I, I, I know one thing, though, ever since I started saying the proper name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son in the Hebrew tongue, my whole world turned around for the good. My whole world, my whole world that was upside down went right side up, man. Quick, quick fast. It look, look, it, it was it was something missing. It was it was a piece of the puzzle missing, and it was the proper name in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. That was missing out of my life. You see, out of my life, Saint John chapter seventeen, verse six. Let's just get this. Saint John chapter seventeen, verse six, and it reads. I have manifested, the word manifest means to make known. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. So Lord Yahweh Shai made known what, his, what the heavenly father name was, what, his, what, his, what the most high Yahweh name was and is. And we most definitely got Lord Yahweh Shai's name. You see? Because the scriptures say, um, uh, the heavenly father said, my son's name is in my name. You see? And the heavenly father's name is Yahweh. So his son's name most definitely can't be Jesus. You see? It's Yahweh Shai. You see? I have manifest thy name. And this, this lesson that I'm doing is only for the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the American Indians. Oh, look, that, that's it. Some believe the things which were spoken, going right back to Acts, what is it, 24, 28, 24, I'm thinking. I might have to get it. St. John 17 and 6, I have manifest thy name unto the men which thou hast given me out of the world. Thine thy word, and thou gavest me, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. You see? I, might have, I said I want to get, Um, let's see, let me read that again. St. John 17, 6, I have manifest thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world, thine thy word, and thou gavest me, gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. I want to get this though. I forgot what scripture I was going to bring out right after that, that, that fast. That's why we need them new bodies. And the only way you're going to get those new bodies is you, is you declare the names of Yahweh, Baha, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, and you got to be part of the elect. Lord willing, we're part of that hopeful number, you see, to get the new bodies, you know what I'm saying, get changed, get the new bodies. We'll never have a memory loss ever again. And that's all going to come through the power and glory of Yahweh, Baha, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. We're going to live forever, for all eternity, through the names of Yahweh, Baha, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, you see. This is Acts chapter 4, and I'm just flowing in the spirit, man. Acts chapter 4, verse 12, and it reads, Neither is there salvation in any other. So, so you're not, we're not getting delivered out of the names of these pagan custom gods, man. You, 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 we won't get delivered calling on Allah. We won't, hold on, hold on, let me back that up. We will not get delivered calling on Jesus the Christ, all right? Ain't no power in that name. That's the name that was given to us by our slave masters, man. And once again, J is a fairly new um, letter um, put into the alphabet. You know what I'm saying in the, um, the mid 1500s. And you got IUIC, you know what I'm saying? Israelite, uh, what is it? Israelite united in Christ, you know what I'm saying? Which is an oxymoron. And the Lord going to dismantle that whole thing over there. Walking around with all damn purple, passing out. And they was down, um, what we teach it, they was like 100 feet from what we was teaching that yesterday. Passing out damn pamphlets, looking through all damn purple, man. With purple shirts, you know what I'm saying? With, with fringes on it, looking. And everybody looked at through and said, just zombies. The Lord going to dismantle that thing, man. This is crazy. Build, I would say, build not on another man's foundation. So we pull up the camp, they like 30 deep, you know what I'm saying? Like um 100 feet, you know what I'm saying? Away from where we teach at. Teaching, teaching. Which we're out there teaching our people, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. They out there teaching people God and Christ bless. Madness, man. Madness. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. 
For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So calling on these other gods, these pagan God names, you're not going to be saved, Israel. All right. And you got to be part of the elect because the Lord says some going to say Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. And the Lord is going to say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. You got these false prophets. They, they, they know the name. They know the proper name in the Hebrew tongue. But if they're, if they're not part of the elect, they, they won't make it on this go around. You see what else, man? Let's get this right quick. I'm just flowing in the spirit. That's all. I just want to get this. I'm, I'm, I'm a Lord willing to try to see if I can get that Romans too. Um, Proverbs. Let's get this Proverbs right quick. Playing around. That's, that's one thing you don't do. You don't play around with the Heavenly Father's name, and you most definitely don't play around with His only begotten Son's name, Yahweh Shai. You don't play around with the name of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Not, not for one second. Not for, only a fool does that. Only a fool, a blockhead, a meatball, a jackass, man, a goober plays around with salvation. We just read neither is there uh, salvation any other. For there's there's one name under heaven whereby we must be saved. You see? Not five, not ten, not twenty, not a hundred. All right? Can't just say we can call him anything. Are you, are, are, have you lost your mind saying that we can call the God of the Bible anything? Have you lost your mind? Tell us you don't care what the name is. What? Proverbs, that pride, pride go before destruction and the haughty spirit before fall, right? Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. And it reads, the name of the Lord, the name. Not the names, the name, the proper name in the Hebrew tongue. The name of the Lord, Yahweh, all caps. Only thing you got to do is go to the blue letter. All caps, the most high, Yahweh. You see it right there. Through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus, right? Is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is saved. And then the scripture saying, let's, let's get this right quick. See the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel? They're not going to play with that name. Are you, are you serious? Nah, 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 never that. Nah. Let's get this. Let's get this. Sirach chapter 17, verse 10, and it reads, And the elect, and the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? And the elect shall praise his holy name. His holy name. The elect will praise the name of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Little, no playing around, no gimmicks, no nothing, man. Salvation is on the line. Our lives depends on this name right here. Look, look, no name, no salvation. See, pretty much, once again, we're, we're, we are reintroducing the world, you know what I'm saying, to our power, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai. That's what the God of the Bible got us doing, reintroducing them to the whole world. You see? Um, What's the name? Pretty much, um, how they say it? Pretty much when you when you introduce this, um when you um pretty much telling somebody about somebody before they even come, the word escapes me right about now. But reintroducing is is is, is pretty pretty um pretty decent. It's a good word to use right about now. We're reintroducing starting off with the elder apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone and the men on down and the affiliates. We're reintroducing the whole earth to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. I got like two more scriptures. Then I'm gonna wrap it up. This, this thing is very important, man. Let's see. Um, let's get Romans right quick. Romans. Let's see. Romans chapter 9. Romans chapter 9. Just for process of time, I'm going to go straight to 17. Romans chapter 9, verse 17. And it reads. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna have to start it on. I'm going to have to start it on. Man. I'll I, I go straight to 17 for process of time. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, have I raised thee up. Remember, the Lord, you know what I'm saying, gives the kingdom to whoever he wants to rule the kingdom, right? 
For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So when the Lord took down Pharaoh, when Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai took down Pharaoh, they named, you know what I'm saying, was declared among all the, all these heathen nations knew who took down the Egyptians. It won't know if and buts or maybe it's about it. They knew. Even the harlot Rahab said it. We have heard of your God, you know what I'm saying, the God of the Israelites. They heard the name Yahweh. They call him Elishijah, though, demon-like power. They took down Pharaoh, man. You see? So the Lord raised up Pharaoh just to bring him down, just to show his power, right? Yeah, so that's the point, that his name might be declared throughout all the earth, you see? So, so when the Lord, you know what I'm saying, when Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, take down this devil, take down slaves, he, his name, their, their proper name in the Hebrew tongue is going to go throughout the four corners of the earth. Everybody's going to know that it was the God of the Hebrews, the true biblical Hebrew Israelites that took down this devil, that took down this so-called white man, Esau, Edom, man. You see? Everybody's going to know it, man. Now let me get one more scripture, then I'm going to wrap it up. Um, let's see. Bear with me. Malachi chapter 1, verse 11. I'll make this my last one. Malachi, the Lord will get his just due. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, they're going to get their glory in the earth, man. All right? And throughout the whole universe. You see? Malachi chapter 1, verse 11. It reads, For from the rising <clears throat> of the sun, meaning the east, even unto the going down of the same, meaning to the, the West, my name shall be great among the Gentiles. You see? And in every place, incense shall be offered unto my name. All right? Look, look, look. And a pure offering for my name. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, shall be great among the heathen. Save the Lord Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, is always the saith the Lord, the saith the Bible. So I just want to do something quick. Woke up, I, um, I was watching um, the elder of Rakaia you know what I'm saying, from London video about um, the Lord's name being declared among the heathen and the Lord, you know what I'm saying, getting his, his respect. Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, they're going to get their respect. So basically what we're doing right about now as the heralds, the prophets, the servants, we're pretty much introducing the whole earth to our master, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and master. We're pretty much introducing y'all, re reintroducing the earth to, uh, to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That's what I might name it. Reintroducing, reintroducing the earth to our power, man. We're declaring their glory among all the heathen, among all the earth. We're declaring the glory, the power, the majesty of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha, the might. You name it, man. But yeah, reintroducing the earth to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha. Shalom.